Hi everyone and welcome about the CB90NG. We are here at DSCI 2021 in London, UK. I am with Anders Elman, the CEO of Doxta. Anders, good afternoon. Good afternoon, happy to have you on board. Thank you so much for welcoming us. So what's NG about this boat? I'm sure a lot of our audience knows about the famous CB90. What's new about this one? Well, uh, we have been very committed uh, in developing and building a combat boat for the last uh, 30 years. And uh, this knowledge we have acquired together with our worldwide uh, feedback from our worldwide users uh, has led us to develop the CB90NG. You can basically say that, that almost everything on this boat is new from propulsion system to sensor systems uh, to layout down in the transport compartment. So it's a brand new boat. I am now joined by Gustav Schalberg, uh, the manager of the amphibious battalion at the FMV, which is the uh, Swedish Armed Forces uh, Procurement Agency. Uh, Gustav, thanks for joining us. Uh, can you please tell us first uh, what drove the requirement for this uh, NG variant of the CB90? Basically, we are using the boat in a different way than we use with the old one. And this requires some, some uh, design changes of the boat. And um, to, to keep it as a simple answer on the question, we are now fighting from the boat uh, instead of just transporting troops that we used to, to do with this specific boat. So does, is that why, uh, for example, there's uh, these kinds of systems are right behind us, a remote weapon station? Yes, that is correct. And, and beside the, the RVS, which is a great improvement of the, of the fighting capability of the boat, we also have uh, the possibility to mount uh, external weapons on, on the side of the boat. So with a small group, we can have a tremendous fire force from, from the boat by just using the, uh, the normal weapons that's in, within the, uh, the group. Gustav, can you please share with us uh, some of the performance figures? Uh, the boat in, in, in this specific version carries uh, 18 troops in the troop compartment and then you have three, uh, three men in the crew as well. Um, the range is more than 200 nautical miles. Uh, and uh, we can travel uh, well above 40 knots with the boat. Uh, last but not least, Gustav, what's the current status of the program as far as the FMV is concerned? Uh, how many boats have been delivered and uh, when will it uh, achieve a full operational capability with the Swedish Navy? Yeah, we, we have received um, the entire batch of 18 boats from, from, uh, from the industry, from the Dokstavarvet and from Saab. And now we are in the training process of, of, of delivering the boat to the armed forces, which means that we need to, to be, be, uh, secure the, uh, the training of the crews uh, for this new boat. So it's a, it's a training process right now. And uh, hopefully uh, we will end up with, with uh, full capability uh, at the end of, of, uh, of this year or uh, at the early beginning of next year. Thank you very much. Thank you. So, welcome inside the combat boat, the next generation. Uh, this is uh, customized according to the requirements from the Royal Swedish Navy. So we have uh, 18 seats down below here for four uh, troops. You can see on the off side of the transport co uh, compartment, we have two seats, one for the operator of the remote weapon station and one for the, the comms uh, officer. You have equipment racks on the sides to fit the combat management systems. Up on this uh, boat we have the remote weapon station and mounted on this one we have uh, the primary weapon is uh, M2 Browning 12.7 mm machine gun and the secondary weapon is a 7.62 mm machine gun. Uh, also you could switch the primary weapon and use a 40 mm grenade machine gun instead. 
So this is set up on this boat, and it you could be pretty versatile. And we're working with different weapons and different mountings uh, on this stabilized platform. So Anders, thank you so much for showing us around uh, the CB90 NG. Before we get uh, off the boat, can you please tell us what's next for the CB90 NG? Yes, of course. Uh, parallel to developing the CB90 next generation, we've been uh, putting a lot of effort into uh, developing uh, autonomous capabilities, sensor capabilities, which we uh, just recently showed at uh, Ocean 2020, or some of those capabilities we showed. So that will be a, a natural evolution for us uh, in, in, in that, that field. Is that a field where uh, Saab brings a lot of expertise? Yes, of course. Uh, it's, it's from us coming from a small organization and now being part of the Saab family, we, we uh, benefit a lot from that. Uh, as, as you know from, from Ocean 2020, we were several parts from the Saab family contributing to that program. All right, well, thank you so much again for your warm welcome aboard the CB90NG. Well, thank you very much. We are very glad to have you here. Thank you. Thank you.